Hello everybody, my name is Tri-State EDC, and I've got a little box with a knife inside, courtesy of Rene Ramon. This is part three of me unboxing a big box of things from Rene Ramon. Rene! Thank you! It's most- ow, ow, it's ow, pain. It's mostly slip joints. It is. But there are slip joints that I've been dying to check out. This is another one from C. Risner Cutlery, aka Traditional Pocket Knives. Links down below, check them out. C. Risner's local boys here in Ohio, I love them to death. Very nice box. We have the, uh, this is the Lake Champlain. Yeah, no, got, a, got an aircraft carrier on there. So let's do some bombing runs. Together. <laughs> That's it, baby. Dropping bombs on me. Established 1974. All that good stuff. I like the box. I like the package. It makes me feel good. C. Risner, Lake Champlain, Barlow, Single Blade, Sheep's Foot, Camel Carbon, 90s. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of words. One thing I do love uh, about C. Risner, I'm pretty sure this is QSP made, just based on the box. Future me, QSP. Yeah, okay. Uh, the little drawer. The little drawer pull. It's just a nice touch. Now, I have the Ohio River Jack. I love it. Uh, I grew up spending my weekends in the summertime on the Ohio River. No, I don't have three eyes. No, I don't have six penises. But i that's where I spent my time. Some people go to the lake. Some people go to the beach. I went to the Ohio River and swam around, and I'm just fine. But this is the Lake Champlain Barlow, and right off the bat, it is a much bigger beast. Huge titanium bolster. Beautiful 90s fat carbon, camo carbon going on there on the uh, inlay. Beautiful, beautiful. Big old nail nick there. Uh, kind of a decorative little swedge here at the tip. It's nice. Very clean, very well put together. QSP, man, their slip joint game, kind of top notch. I've been very, very impressed with all of them. Uh, QSP also did the Ohio River Jack, the QSP Hedgehog. They just, they do good work. Very nice. Well, a uh, close size comparison. It's a big slip joint. Uh, it's about the same size as a pair of three, which is huge. Tecton Knife Co. Rockwall, which is a manual folding knife, is smaller. That's a full-size knife. Full size. For a slip joint. That's a big slip joint. I kind of approve. Feel manly. I feel manly. I want to open it. Oh. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, beautiful half stop. Pop it all the way open. Wipe the sausage finger grease off the blade, Tri-State. You and your dang sausage fingers. Look at that beautiful profile. This bolster, the faux bolster or bolster. It's a real bolster, old bolster, new bolster, blue bolster. I don't fucking know. Beautiful profile. So clean, so symmetrical. That's what I love about a, a good modern slip joint. It's just the symmetry of these old designs. So clean. Love it. Full hollow. Full hollow. Hollow grind from the edge to the spine. Full hollow. Belt set and finish. Blade steel is M390. That is a good looking knife. God, that's a good looking knife. Spyderco Pair 3. Open size comparison. Tech on Ica Rockwall. It's bigger than both. Whoops. It is it's bigger than both. And it's a slip joint. Nuts. I had no idea. I never read the specs. I'm not a specs guy. Because I like being surprised. And this is a pleasant surprise. That's a beast. Ergo's in hand. Yeah, choke back. Easy full, uh, four finger grip. No problem. Feels like home. Super comfy. Everything's nicely knocked down. Subtle contouring. The uh, kind of It swells here at the ass end. So I'm locked in. Thumb on the blade. Plenty of spring tension to save my poor little fingy. Feels good. Choke up. Yeah, nestle in right about here for those nice controlled detail cuts. Easy peasy, so comfy, no clip, no nothing to get in the way. Pinch grip on a slip joint's a little tough. This one being so long, 70, 65, 70% of the blade. Um, I'm just real close to that edge right there with my ring finger and it scares me. So 65, 70% of the day, but I can pull it off. Again, we're not chopping down trees with these knives. It's a slip joint. We're cutting paper, we're opening envelopes. You know what I mean? We're, we're, we're breaking down boxes. And with this full hollow, I'm sure it is up to the task. Now then, action. Ergos are great. Action. Lock up, first off, as far as build. No side-to-side -side blade play. Solid. No up. And honestly, you got to really push to move that blade down, which is nice uh, on a slip joint. So let's close it. Oh, God. 
Oh my god, yeah, action's nuts. That walk and talk. It's funny, it's easier to cool, uh, open than it is to close. Oh, it's so satisfying. It feels so satisfying. And it makes a great noise. Um, pull strength's probably a five or a six on the open, but it's funny, it's like a seven or an eight to close it, which is nice. Again, it's like a safety feature. You want it to be a little harder to close than it was to open, so it doesn't close on your hand. Oh yeah, that walk and talk, that action. These acoustics, listen. Thwack, thwack. It's so aggressive. <laughs> oh, action's great, acoustics are great. And this blade is just dying to cut something, man. This full hollow M390 sheep's foot style blade. Oh, let me get the, not the phone book, but the Crane Barrel catalog. Let's see, let's see if she'll cut. I bet you she will. Lake Champlain. Oh, that's what I love about sheep, uh, um, she, not sheep's foot. I do love sheep's foot. Slip joints. They just grind these things so thin. Oh, if, if production manual locking folding knives gave me this kind of cutting performance dude i'd be so happy i'd be so happy we don't see full hollows on like the rock wall or locking knives ever we never see full hollows very rarely do we see full hollows on on locking knives but they can do it if they can do it on a slip joint they can these these manufacturers can totally do it on a manual folding knife you hear me? Listen up. Do I need to go out and just make my own knife? Is that what this is? Oh my god, that's so good. Yeah, I'm a big fan. It cuts like a damn dream. It's an absolute lightsaber. Big fan. The Lake Champlain Barlow, made by QSB. I will leave links to this down below. If you like, if you have bigger hands and you like slip joints, dude. I mean. I love this. I love this. Check it out for yourself down below. But that is it. Renee, thank you again for sending me all these goodies. It's so awesome. Shout out to Renee down in the comments. Leave a comment, like, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, Patreon member. Hit me up on Instagram, threads, TikTok. I'm out there. I got videos and content all over the damn place. Woo! But that is it. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.